It's a new year and a great time to start that new chapter. Lifestyle expert Stephanie Walters is back with some tips to help us navigate through 2018. It's great to see you again, Stephanie. Thank you for having me, and I cannot believe we're talking about the new year. Where nope. did 2017 go? I know. I keep <laughs> feeling like I had my sights on you 2018, and now you're here. So. You've got some great ways to get us on track right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. And I love this. It's like, you know, you may have some extra things left over from the party, yes. right? So we can put those to use. Yes, party leftovers are a plus when you're talking about getting ready for the new year. So every year what I do is a vision board. So this is, we've taken this from a leftover party. You know, we love the glitz and glam here. These are some leftover things. And what you do for your vision board, you actually just write sayings or cut out things from magazines and put it on it. So you're trying to like put into the universe what you want to happen for 2018. So these are some leftover things. You can make borders. These are just bags. Um, some cute little tree items and you can just place them and glue them on your board and this just I, I'm, I'm a big believer of putting things into you into the universe that you want to happen So this is a great way to use some of your party leftovers to make a vision board for 2018 Hang it on your bedroom wall your kitchen anywhere where you can visually see this every day Yep, and get motivated daily get motivated plus and you feel awesome because you've like reused some stuff It didn't course. just go to waste exactly you got your money's worth <laughs> That's right. another way to get ready for the new year is just by writing down your goals and creating gratitude and to-do list. Kind of similar to a vision board, but you're actually putting pen to paper on a daily basis. So these are some great little booklets that you can get from a lot of local craft stores. One says gratitude, one has to do, and one has goals. And you just write like what you're appreciative for. Um, you can write what your goals are for this year. You, you, you can go weekly or monthly. Your to-do list, obviously we know we have a lot to do, especially with the new year. So just keeping track will really help you stay on track to reach your goals. And writing down a, a bit of gratitude, whether whether it was, you know, I'm appreciative that the sunrise was yes. so brilliant today, really makes a difference yeah. in your outlook. Yeah, and I talked to a lot of friends last year, and that, you know, 2017 was kind of rough for a lot of people yeah. with everything going on in the media. And so it's a great way to just, like you said, show your appreciation and just, you know what, I'm thankful for these items today. That's right. It's perfect. We got this. And then, you know, I, I don't know if you're going to Food Next yeah. or Gadgets, mm -hmm. but, you know, you've got some great things to get. We start paying a lot of attention to health and nutrition. Yes. And expediting our time, you know, spent with those things. Yeah, a lot of people starting the new year. New year, new me kind of thing. You want to start on the health kick. And these are two great items that you can add into your lifestyle. So the Krups has a 10-speed um, mixer, wireless mixer, and you can just really use this to mix a lot of your foods. I mean, I mean, this is a great way if you're starting a new meal plan, you're starting a meal prep, this is a great item to have in your kitchen. Also the T-Fall pressure cooker. It cooks anything and everything in here. I know a lot of times we're all busy, busy lifestyles. This is an awesome way to go ahead and meal prep your foods for the new year if you're trying to get on that health kick. The best way to stay on track with your diet goals or your workout goals is to meal prep your food. So this is an awesome item for you to have. So wait a second. You don't have a cord, so I don't have to get caught, It might have right? a cord. It might have a cord. I'm, I'm looking at it. There's, there's a lot of different gadgets mixed on this thing, mm -hmm. so it might have a cord. But it's 10 speed, and it has like an automatic shut off so when you use it you can just shut off um, that's a like win. 30 seconds and it's done so you don't over mix your food that's a mega win <laughs> and and this I just don't it's like I love my slow cooker mm -hmm. and I feel like you know so the pressure cooker really changes the game yeah because the, the thing about the pressure cooker is that you know, so cooker you can use that overnight or while you're at work this one kind of gets stuff done quickly mm -hmm. so if you're oh shoot I forgot to put something in the you know cook for kids let's go ahead and put this in the pressure cooker cook and you're done Oof. very quick that's and a game easy. changer <laughs> all right having food at the ready as you said mm -hmm. makes a difference and these make that easy yes yeah, sparkling ice I love these drinks if you have not had these I recommend you go try these they're sparkling water but with the most flavor it almost tastes like juice so they're great to mix whether you want to just have it by yourself or you can mix it with some dirty martini juice or or anything you want but this is a great way to kick off your your health kick for the new year if you're a soda person try try switching over to some sparkling water i i love it and it's a great mixer for anything oh, yeah. so if you want something a little stronger you can have that makes it oh, this, okay I'm, it's like I'm, I'm i keep getting yeah, on the speed bump here dirty martini dirty juice martini juice what happens there this is all natural and organic by gaia so this is they can either mix well with vodka or gin but that's a i will tell you vodka is low the least calories of all of your 
spirits. So this is a nice way after a long day at work, maybe like today, you want to come home if you're trying to cut calories on your cocktails, this is a, a perfect item for that. But I'm mixing it with a spirit. I thought I was just drinking it. I thought that's no. going to be kind of salty. No, no, it's going to no, no. be salty. You, you have no. to mix it with okay. something a little strong. <laughs> and then monk pack. Now this is um, a nice item for kids too. They're vegan cookies. So they're all natural. Just say cookies for your kids and they'll eat them. Yes. But they're all natural. And it's if you still like that sweet flavor that you're craving, but you're trying to get off the sugar wagon, this is a nice um, item to have in your pantry for the upcoming for the year. Mm -hmm. Great, that's a win. And these, I'm so excited about mm. these. I feel, I feel like it's like a little nugget mm -hmm. with dough around. Yes, it. my move. It's a puff. It's like a puff pastry ice cream, mm. and there's only 110 calories per serving, mm -hmm. so it's kind of that guilt-free. And they're, they're sweet enough where you, if you just have one, it just takes the edge off. So you know, instead of sitting down eating a pint of ice cream, you can have this instead. So this is just ways to kind of cut calories. Um, at, during the start of the of the new year, yeah. so you don't have to you know overindulge. Stephanie, I love that you've done the he you've you've taken care of any danger here. Yeah. there's nothing for me to it's overindulge gone. with. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, it's gone. All right, we have two friends over here. Yes, that are two friends. Explore cuisine. I'm a pasta girl. I love pasta, but sometimes pasta is really heavy in carbs. So this is a great way to switch over. This is made, um, it's plant-based. Mm. So it's all made from plants, all natural, and this tastes really good. It's made from edamame, and it tastes really good if you pour like some um, spaghetti sauce on it. You cook it just like regular pasta, and it's a lot healthier for you than your regular whole wheat or white pasta. I've started seeing this type mm -hmm. of option available, and I have not yet tried it. You really like they, it. They are delicious. Mix it with some olive oil and seasoning and put mm -hmm. your sauce on it. It's amazing. Mm, starting exploring new things it. in 2018 <laughs> already. And, and then, of course, you know, of speaking course, of juice. <laughs> you, you can't go anywhere without your wine. So Epicurious Wines has a really good Chardonnay, and then Santa Mar Margarita has a great wine. You know, wines are, I would say, red wine is great for your heart. So that's my, that's my like, go-to when I think about drinking a glass of wine. But these are also some great wines, maybe if you want to kind of have a cheat day or indulge after a long day of work. Or just if you're having a party, you can mix this as a, um, as a sangria or a punch and, you know, have some people over to celebrate the beginning of the new year. Yeah, and, and great ideas, too. I don't know why my mind went to this, but, you know, having a bottle of wine that you enjoy maybe at home or, mm -hmm. you know, something at home yeah. ends up... There's a lot of opportunities here with what you've shared yes. to save in yes. the new year, right? Oh, yeah. And having a, a delicious thing that you can enjoy at home is a fraction of the cost sometimes of going out. It is, because a glass of wine and you know out is going to run you at least 8 $9. But if you're able to take a lot of these items, cook in your pressure mm -hmm. cooker, have some vegan cookies, drink your glass of wine at home, it kind of promotes being at home with family and friends as well, so you're not spending as much time out or spending your money. It's true. Great advice, great insight. Thank Happy 2018. You. Happy 2018. Yeah. Happy New Year. I everyone. know. These are some great ideas. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. We wish everyone a Happy New Year right now. We're going to send it.